welcome back to the show. Well, our next guest has been working very hard on a sculpture throughout the program. He's been getting rained on a lot is what he's done. Steve Buzak joining us. Uh, he is uh, with the Delta Sun Peaks Resort. How are you, man? Executive Hello. chef, nice to see you. I'm doing great. I'm trying so, to keep dry. So what came first, ice sculpture, uh, chefing? What? The chefing came first. Oh, did it really? Ice sculpting followed so, short after. How come? Was it was it just something that captured your interest? Or? Well, I, I was lucky when I was in, in my uh, doing my culinary training. Uh, I had an opportunity to do some, and I went at it. And then uh, when I picked a place to work, they said, hey, you like to carve ice? Well, we have somebody that carves ice, too, so... So you just pick up a so chainsaw you and you start giving well, it? Well, it, it, not really. I chipped away <laughs> and it was uh, painful to, to begin with, but uh, over the years I've been doing uh, more and more, and now it's uh, on my own accord and mostly And how long did it take you to do uh, this little number well, you Well, for you guys, today. I had to speed it up a little bit, so I figured I'll do something that would fit the uh, winter season coming and skiing. So yeah. Doesn't it feel wintry out here? Probably about 45 <laughs> minutes right now. Wow. <laughs> nice. That's crazy. Uh, and we have to talk, uh, before we get you to finish a little bit, about Sun Peaks and, uh, and your job at the Delta. Uh, you've been there. This is your first full season, right? It's my first season. It's coming right into the busy Christmas time that I yeah. hear so much about. Well, and this must uh, fit in nicely, I mean, with sort of your experience as well and, and, and what you're doing. But I would imagine running a kitchen like this is, uh, is sort of next level. It's busy, busy, busy. It's busy. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. I, I can't wait. It's a different Christmas than I've had uh, for years, but uh, you know, I won't be spending with friends or family. I'll be with all my, uh, yeah. you know, with all the staff. So you'll be working I'm, hard. Yeah, I'll baby. be working That's hard. A busy Tell us season. about the dining at Sun Peaks. Well, the dining's kind of uh, mixed up coming from Vancouver and everything else. Uh, you know, you got to do the all the restaurants for the clientele. We have four outlets, yeah. so you can't do a restaurant that you would in Vancouver. It's just like some people that open up a restaurant in East Vancouver, go to North, North Vancouver, doesn't work. Yeah. So it's trying to do something for the masses. There's a lot of Aus Australians, English yeah. people, Kamloops. So a lot of families as well, and I know a that's a huge part of uh, not only your customer base, but what you guys focus on as well, making sure that uh, you know families there, are sort of everybody's happy and everybody's eating well. Exactly. We try to have something for everyone, which is hard. Very. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a chef. kids' mac and cheese for Eckford? Yeah, we do. that's right, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You do, see? <laughs> okay. Uh, now this one is something that you rushed through for us today but it's still absolutely incredible what are you going to do to finish it up? so right now i have the silhouette because it's melting there's no point for me to Poor make guy. it any thinner yeah so i'm going to go with some uh, power to tools and chisels and make some detail on them uh so we saw you using uh a uh a, a chainsaw to do the the real rough stuff walk us through some of these that you have so i started off with a chainsaw to block everything out and then either i'll pick a, a power tool or a big chisel and I'll knock the blocks out. Okay. And uh, I'll use some of these tools. That looks like a fun, what's that? This is sharp, this is just a, uh, it's like, basically it's like this chisel. Yeah. But it goes at a. Uh, well, it almost looks like a drywall 30, saw. 30,000 uh, RPM. Okay, Are, let's, let's let you do some, some magic. We're gonna stand back because okay. we don't want to get wet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're made of sugar. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. That's amazing. Look at the little details. Uh -oh. So how often do you get the opportunity to do this sort of stuff at uh, the Delta? Well, I'm going to be doing something for Christmas mm -hmm. and then for... Uh, <laughs> Everything's fine. Don't give up a power for, tool. Keep talking. I, the Ice Wine Festival as yeah. well. I'll uh, be doing some, they have an ice bar at uh, the Corp. So it'll be uh, maybe a Santa Claus or a reindeer for Christmas. Right. Maybe a throne so everybody could take uh, some pictures with it. Nice. See, Mike, you don't know how to work it. And you guys have, no, no, I totally do. I just decided not to. I, you guys must have lots of special events. I mean, with Christmas coming yeah. up and then New Year's as well, you guys. And uh, following that, a huge uh, Ice Wine Festival. Which, if you missed the uh, Okanagan or Cornucopia, great place to, to go remember, check it out. Is it January 12th to 23rd, something like yes. that? Yes. Yeah, that yeah, sounds right, right around there. Yeah, well, it's a very famous and well known festival now, or it's becoming more famous and well known because uh, you guys get some great stuff up there as well. So. Well, uh, we have Thanks, a Jeff. giveaway, so if you want your chance to win a weekend to the Delta Sun Peaks Resort and Spa, you can email oh, for your sister. chance to win at urbanrush at shaw.ca, <laughs> yeah. and they have tons of great deals happening at Sun Peaks if you want to check them out. So thank you for so, mu so much for joining us. Always oh, bring oh, Guns. That just <laughs> looks disturbing. I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a break and we <laughs> return some great jewelry from Sugar Lime. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, I was around something like that once and it didn't turn out well.